I love Super Mario Maker. You love Super Mario Maker. So here's nine ways I think the game could be improved. I'm sure they'll listen. Hi, I'm Blake from the Super Spears Brothers, and this is A Thing You Will Hate, the series where I challenge you to accept my unpopular opinions. Why? Uh, I think there's something wrong with me. Now, Super Mario Maker, or Smm, as I like to call it, is a great experience. Level editors have been around for decades, but there has never been such a fun, easy way to construct such authentic Mario experiences. The presentation is clean, the interface is easy enough for kids and us lazy, stupid adults, and the range of stuff is staggering. I mean, look at them boots! But there's some stuff I think that could make this a much more robust experience for almost everybody. Some of it is almost certainly coming, some of it probably not, and I'll explain why. Until that fateful day, let me just jump in with the most obvious. Number one, more stuff. More stuff. Mario Maker has a ton of stuff, but in many ways it's missing so very much. I mean, you can remake almost any level in Super Mario Brothers, but after that, you're on your own. Enemies, level conditions and barriers, even basic area types from all four games represented are just non-existent here. What I wouldn't give for some of Yoshi's interesting powers from SMBW. Even the Lost Levels had wind as an element. Wait, did Super Mario Brothers also have wind? I can't remember. Everybody down won't me because I'm obviously an idiot. Look, I'm not saying the game didn't come with enough to start off with. It did. I love all the stuff Super Mario Maker gives you. But I would gladly pay a little for some additional stuff on DLC. Like... Frog suit anybody? Right? Frog suit? There's a lot of cool items and inventory and enemies in the Super Mario series that just aren't in the game yet. And so many neat level ideas could be played around with with just a few more things. And that's all I'm asking. More stuff. Number two. HP. Now I know that Mario games are not RPGs. I mean... Apart from the RPGs that are Mario games, those are RPGs. Uh, anyway, so I know you can make bosses that don't take a ton of hits and are still tough. You can see a few ways to do this in my 7 Boss Ideas video. Click here to watch! But it would be great if you could make a giant Goomba take a few more hits than a regular one. You could have a little ticker over their head or even feed them more mushrooms just to make a basic boss with a few extra hits. I mean, Bowser clearly has HP, he takes a lot of hits, and I'd love to spread that feature around a bit. I'm not talking about complex damage and armor calculations, just the ability to make any enemy in the game into a prospective multi-hit boss or more interesting enemy. I mean, imagine the diversity of bosses you could do just by adding a few hit points to some enemies here and there. A few extra jumps. Number three, keys. Now, keys might seem like a small addition, and they're more of a SMBW thing. Boy, you know, that, that actually takes way more time than just saying Super Mario World, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, keys are cool enough to warrant a place in each of the games. Imagine if the prize for a boss battle, mentioned above, was a key that you could use to open a locked door just ahead of the boss. Wouldn't it make forcing boss battles a bit more fruitful? You could even hide a key in a maze level or in an ordinary enemy to add complexity and challenge to an otherwise simple level. The key could be carried visually, like a Yoshi's Island object, or be hidden inside an enemy, or block. The mechanics in the maker could be as simple as shaking a door to make the key and dropping that key onto an enemy or block to store it there. Keys are really overplayed in a lot of old, poorly designed PC games, but they have always added a neat element of challenge in the more complex Mario titles. So give us some keys and allow us to play around with those locked doors. It could really unlock a lot of possibilities. Number four, campaigns. Yes, Mario Maker levels are meant to stand alone. That much is obvious. 
It doesn't matter if you end a level with a firepower and a Yoshi and a clown ship, you're only beating this one level and there is no tomorrow. People have wanted campaigns since they heard about Super Mario Maker. I love the idea of building a campaign where the levels ramp in difficulty. I want to have a challenge that raises quickly, but Mario Maker doesn't encourage that. It's built around these quick in and out sessions with increasingly impossible challenge courses or levels based around memes rather than building worlds the way a Mario franchise really does. Let me link my levels in sequence, even without a visual map, just 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. ABC with that last boss and some progression of difficulty. Let player creators create their own dream Super Mario world with their own rules and around their own chosen themes. Campaigns could give you that power. Number five, collectibles or secret exits. Continuing on from the point above, this is a simple idea that I've noticed a lot of people, like me, were anticipating and just, it just doesn't exist in this game. And I think it actually runs against Nintendo's Mario Brothers philosophy. Mario games since at least the level 1-2 warp zone have always had easy and hard paths to take. Increasingly, secrets have meant there's a way for beginners to crack the stage and add a harder challenge for the more intense player. Secrets can level the difficulty playing field so everybody sets their own ideal level of challenge. Completionists versus casual players. That's partially what makes Nintendo a robust and accessible company. You can play a level, find everything, or you can play through and just get to the end. That's Mario in a nutshell. The lack of campaigns and collectibles and alternative paths actually forces players, once again, into a very non-Nintendo mode of play, a non-Miyamoto approach to Mario levels. Secrets create more options for difficulty and more options for our creative output. I would love to see more secrets and secret exits especially in Super Mario Maker connected to campaigns to have a huge amount more freedom and more fun as well. Number six, user-generated art. Because, you know what, actually this is a terrible idea. I understand exactly when, you know, don't show me, you know, it, let's just forget this idea ever happened. Um, number six again, more level themes. You can't mix water and land in one level like you can in a bunch of Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Bros. World, and New Super Mario Bros. levels. There's no desert as well, no Mario World forests, no snow levels. I would love to see just a few more zones in Super Mario Maker. And like number one above, I can actually see these as future DLC, maybe connecting new objects to new areas, you know, snow levels with some of the snow objects downloadable. It could happen, Nintendo. It could be easy to do. There's a lot of great places in the Super Mario Brothers universe. Just give us more parks and we will build you more playgrounds. Number seven, simple triggers and events. Okay, this one almost certainly isn't going to happen. The idea of triggers goes pretty far against the drag and drop simplicity of Super Mario Maker, but it's so essential to great level makers and to level design itself that I had to put it in here. All I want is for one thing you do in the game to affect some other thing. Hit a block to unlock a door. Defeat a boss to get a key. Make a block appear when you land in a certain spot. There are so many ways simple triggers could work. Now it's not gonna happen, but even if added in future DLC or in another Mario Maker title, it would be a cool way to deepen gameplay and provide more intricate level design possibilities without a lot more The scripting more work. language lets you customize buttons and make new buttons that weren't already there. Number eight, user-generated maps. Along with the idea of campaigns above, I was thinking a map would be not so hard to generate and could be populated with little extras like bonus rooms, boss castles, and item houses. 
It could use a simple building block system like the way ground is generated in the level maker now, where it organically adds rounded corners, doodads, etc. You could have access to a few basic palettes, maybe one for each level type, and a level placed could have a graphic generated based on the kind of land in that level. For example, an underwater level would automatically generate a little pool or puddle, a ghost house would generate a ghost house, a, a airship would generate an airship. It could be really, really simple and still give player creators a way to personalize their little campaign. Number nine, and we all knew this was coming, Super Mario Bros. 2. It's a major gap in the Super Mario Maker world, but we understand why it's there, and so it's probably not going to be added. And yet, it would be awesome to have some of the powers, abilities, and enemies of Super Mario Bros. 2. Doki Doki Panic. I mean, having a little Birdo, having a little Wart, that would be nice, but there's so much more. I'd be happy to accept almost anything from the Super Mario Bros. 2 world, except for the notion that the whole thing is a dream. It would even be fun just to play around with Shy Guys. I mean, and they've extended throughout a lot of Mario games these days, so why not bring them in? Even just a few of the tools and tricks from Super Mario Bros. 2 would be fantastic. So there you have it. Super Mario Maker is a fantastic product and a fun game. I'm still enjoying playing it. It's easy to make stuff, it's easy to play, and the amount they've given us is phenomenal. I love the visuals and the callbacks to earlier programs like Mario Paint. It's rare for Nintendo to let us under the hood like this. And for that, I applaud them. I really do. But while Super Mario Maker is fun, it risks becoming tired. There's only so many challenge levels with crazy jumps and exploits. There's only so many amiibo stages where you get to play as one of your favorite characters for just a few minutes before you start to drive away the core audience. Give us more to play with and levels that learn from the excellent design philosophies that underpin almost all of Nintendo's strongest offerings. Give us the ability to ramp up difficulty and play with a few more toys. Give us the chance to feel like a junior Miyamoto. Because you've given us some awesome tools, Nintendo. But we're not going to be satisfied just building a little house. We want to keep going. We want to build worlds. I'm Blake from the Super Spirits Bros. I hope you enjoyed that. There's a lot more from our channel, and you can see my brother and I making jokes and playing games if you check out one of our other videos, or you can see me prattling on in some of these other episodes. Um, we've got other content as well, but what I want to hear from you guys is what you want to see in Super Mario Maker. What was missing for you? What other stuff that I didn't think of do you think they could squeeze into this game in a future version or even a, a follow-up game? There's so much that Super Mario Maker has given us, and we would love to play with more stuff, but I want to hear your ideas. In the meantime, hope you guys have fun, and see you next time on the Super Spirits Brothers. Thanks a lot! With enough practice, anyone can become a good course designer. <laughs>